Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick solution if you are experiencing lockups or stalling when using the Affinity apps with Apple Silicon devices, in particular the MacBook Pro M1, possibly also the iMac M1. I'm not sure because I haven't been able to test with that model, but I can certainly demonstrate the issue to you on my MacBook Pro here. So let's say I'm doing some editing, I'll just add a curves adjustment, I'll move the curves graph around like so, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this happens. Okay, my input gets delayed, I get a beach ball. Sometimes this delay can be upwards of two or three seconds, which is understandably quite frustrating. And this can happen even during the most basic of operations. Okay, and I can trigger the issue very quickly once again, like this. You can see I've got a delay here. And it's just all around very frustrating for people. Luckily, the fix is really simple. You want to go to your Apple system preferences, go to displays here, and you might not have this screen because I'm mirroring to an external capture card, so you might go straight to this dialog, at which point you just uncheck automatically adjust brightness, and that will fix the issue. So if I go back to my curves adjustment, like so, I can now just move that around. I'll try and trigger the issue, but no, I cannot reproduce the issue any longer. So that is basically your fix. Now, if you're interested in why this is actually happening, do stick around because I'll show you. So let me go and turn on the automatic brightness adjustment again, like so. Now, if I go to view, oh, there we go. There's another beach ball. If I go to view studio and 32 bit preview, this dialog here gives us the maximum brightness value for extended dynamic range. Now, the M1 MacBook Pros have the liquid retina XDR display. Uh, I think the peak brightness value is 1500 or 1600 nits, uh, a sustained value of around 1000 nits. And so what you can do with HDR documents is rather than have to tone map them, you can actually map the extended brightness values to what the display can support. Now, the problem here is that we poll for the maximum brightness value based on the current brightness of the display. And watch what happens here. So I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and I'm going to put it over the FaceTime camera, which presumably is also where the ambient brightness sensor resides. And when I do this, I get a beach ball and watch down here, the maximum value will then change like so. Okay. And I've noticed this issue can be more prevalent when you're at higher brightness values as well. So then again, I can just take the cloth off and I should get another beach ball. There we go. And the brightness value will change here. And that is basically what's happening. There's a bottleneck there. The developers are aware of it and it will be fixed. But the solution for now is simply just to go to your display settings and uncheck automatically adjust brightness. And then you'll just have to use the manual brightness adjustment until you get a suitable brightness level for your environment. Now, people may also be experimenting and finding that if they go to preferences and performance, they can also mitigate this issue by disabling metal compute acceleration. The reason that this seems to work is because when you actually restart the app, it defaults to an OpenGL display rather than metal. And with OpenGL, you don't have that extended dynamic range support anyway, so it doesn't poll for the maximum brightness value. It's actually nothing to do with metal compute. So I would strongly advise against disabling metal compute because then the GPU will not be used for any compositing and you will basically hamper the overall performance of the Affinity apps. So please don't do that. Instead, just disable the automatic brightness adjustment at the OS level under system preferences. Anyway, I hope this little video has been helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching.